The rallies are coming. This is good. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, welcome to my crate. We just arrived in Dublin City. I'm here with Natalie. Hi. We are, it's a bit nippy. I'm gonna, I seen the red sticks and got excited, so I'm gonna get a selfie with them now. <laughs> Work, I'm in for you. The rallies are coming. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Going to. Spoiled, Natalie. Spoiled. Like, show me your la la lanyard thing, whatever it's called. No, your lanyard. Oh, this is fun. This is coffee. No. <laughs> Biscuits. Me and Natalie want biscuits, but they're all gone. Bring back, the, bring back, bring back the Don't biscuits. know who he is. Bring back the biscuits. I think that's a company. Yeah. Bring them back. That's not my face isn't even in it. Oh, they are, but they're lanard. Mm -hmm. I'm an orange. <laughs> 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 I'm probably a little bit biased, but I think we have the best storytellers in the world here in Ireland. Buffet of food. Buffet. Buffet. Is it nice? <laughs> is that another car park they're making? Oh, hi. Um, what we do, guys, we're caught between. No, this is not a good angle. <laughs> not a good angle. We're just out of MediaCon. It's not over yet, though. We just had lunch. We had like bagels, wow. crisps, loads of free food. Amazing. Dessert was gone, but it's just like the biscuits. Oh, yeah, all I want to forget. get dessert. <laughs> Say the biscuits. It actually is. We had Sambos, and there was no room on my plate to get dessert. I was like, you know what? I'll come back. I won't be like greedy. <laughs> yeah, too greedy. And then I went to go back, and there was none left. <laughs> yeah. Just a plank a big platter full of crumbs. And then Natalie was like, do you want to go over to Offie and get donuts? Because <laughs> yeah, now I've got a craving for something sweet. So we can get one donut each. Just one. Well, we have half seems. an hour to kill. No, we've 15 minutes to kill before the talks are back on. Yeah, I might get a donut. We'll check it back in when we figure out what we're doing. Oh no. No. Minty bubbles. Minty arrow bubble thing. <laughs> Minty bubbles. Welcome to my crib. This is the place. It's where the magic happens. I'm the magic. I'm the 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 I'm Oh, messy. Whoops. Are you happy that you finally got your biscuits? Beautiful. They're really good. This one's on next. Content Ireland, the production date with Euro. Creator of the Year Award, just tell the audience briefly, Dee, why this initiative came about and why it's so important. Well, first of all, um, we were thrilled to get involved with MediaCon. Um, yeah, I think it's so important that we have a forum like this for the industry and when we were talking about you know how can we do something more than simply be a sponsor we thought well let's let's put our um young people to the test if you like as Aoife mentioned this morning we are in january setting up a digital lab which is going to be a an innovation space if you like um for finding and developing new voices new talent new ideas and really all about innovation so we thought let's put a call out to the youth of Ireland, um, and let's see what they're made of. We were overwhelmed with the amount of entries. We had almost 100 entries. And we were so, I suppose, um, encouraged by the quality that we got that we shortlisted not five people, but seven, and they're all here today. And you know, why did we shortlist the seven of you and you're all here? Um, well, you're, first of all, you made an impact. Um, you know, the quality may not have been perfect, we weren't looking for that. We were looking for the story, the idea, and you, and what you brought to us. We will just have a little oh, short clip right. okay. of you guys and your work, so hit the clip please. <laughs> focusing on the past or the future, when will you ever have time for the most important part? The present. Look over there, he's getting out of there, he's getting everything. Yes, they met the Zoo Tower, located within the Berlin Zoo. Essentially forced every candidate to answer a mini paper two question in paper one. 
This is why people drop out. <laughs> with this was to have five finalists and we have seven people because it was such a tough decision and we seven thought that all seven deserve their place so congratulations and well done on being a finalist and for the contribution absolutely Me, Farron at RTE and Alex Byrne and Alice O'Reilly really struggled and then when we came into the discussions we couldn't help so we're delighted to see the seven of you here today absolutely. and in our minds and in RTE's minds you're all winners absolutely um, now, there only has to be one winner, unfortunately, um, but as Leslie said, you're all winners. And, you know, I think, what, what, what does the winner get? Well, first of all, we're going to invite the winner into RT um, to be mentored and to be part of our digital lab going forward, to be mentored by um, our sort of, you know, content creators, if you like. But I'm also really hopeful that we will get some reverse mentoring going the other way, because that is so important that this you know, your energy and your ideas come the other way in towards and I certainly will be looking for some reverse mentoring from you guys. So, without further ado, can we have a drum roll? <laughs> um, as I say, there's only one winner, and that is Martin Murphy. Yeah! <laughs> Well, thank you. Well, to be honest, I don't really have a speech prepared because I wasn't really expecting uh, to win this. But, uh, but I'll start off by saying that I first started off making videos a few years ago with Brits Got Talent parodies pretending to win a competition. And, and, after, and after a few years of making more videos to varying degrees of quality and success, I have actually won a big competition. So that, that is evolution. <laughs> I'd just like to say a few thank yous. Of course, thank you to RT and Mediacom for just organizing the competition. I heard about it from my lecturer, Mark Griffin, a few, uh, few weeks ago about it. Special thanks to him. Can we have a round of applause for Mark Griffin, actually? <laughs> and he told me about this competition, and he was saying, you know, I, he was encouraging me to enter and say I could win the whole competition, and I said, that's not going to happen, but uh, here we are, I guess. And, uh, and just say a few more thank yous. I've got my entire family in the audience here. <laughs> A special thank you to all my family, my girlfriend Sophie for all the love and the emotional support. <laughs> I've, got, I've got my sister's boyfriend doing here as well, so a round of applause for, for all of them. <laughs> and, also, and also just want to say congratulations to all the, all the finalists here as well. And especially a big shout out to Amerson, my classmate in college, for getting this far. I want to say anyone here working film and TV, every film set needs an Amerson, so please keep your eyes on this guy. <laughs> And you're all going to know his name eventually, and I'm probably forgetting a few people. You know, I suppose it's a big thank you to all my college classmates, all my secondary school friends who've known me since I started making content, you know, uh, th those few years ago. And, and I think there's any more people to thank, I'm not sure. <laughs> Just thank you, thank you to everybody, and I'm honoured to win this. And this, this is a huge point for me in my uh, career. So thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think Dee would echo this point, but everyone here on the stage has so much talent and had such an impact on us in terms of our decision making with the competition. So I think we'll be seeing a lot of everyone on this stage in the near future. Honestly, we had like over a hundred entries. The ads entry was absolutely fast. You should 100% subscribe to our channel right now and hit the bell as well. Hit yeah, bell. hit that bell. <laughs> oh, Natalie, just as I was to record. Hi guys, we're just back from MediaCon. I'm still wearing the lantern, not taking it off.
they were sleeping in. Anyway, we just wanted to come and say bye, and we just went to McDonald's drive through and got a feast. That's all the excitement for today. Hope you, hopefully you just had a good day too, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> not leave, not burn. You should 100% subscribe to our channel right now and hit the bell as well. Yeah, hit that bell. <laughs>